Lady's Christmas Surprise. It was the week before Christmas. Tramp and the puppies gathered beneath Jim and Darling's brightly decorated tree. Y'all know what holiday is coming up, right? Tramp asked, his eyes twinkling. Of course, Dad, Scamp said. He was excited. Christmas was the puppy's favorite holiday. Lots of guests stopped by to wish Jim and Darling a happy holiday. But the best part was the presents. The puppies got to help choose a special gift for each of their parents. They loved being trusted with two such important surprises. Do any of you kids know what your mother would like for Christmas? Tramp asked. How about a steak from Tony's restaurant? Annette said. Tramp shook his head. We can do better than that. We need to give her something special, said Clet, to show how much we love her. Why don't you ask her what she'd like, said Scamp, his voice muffled. He was chewing on a bow. We want to surprise her, Tramp reminded his son. He nudged him away from the presents. That's the fun of Christmas. Maybe we'll find something on our walk today, Annette said. Tramp thought that was a good idea. While Lady was taking a nap, he took the kids into town to look for the perfect present. The village bustled with shoppers, their carriage wheels carving deep ruts in the snowy road. The dogs rambled up and down the avenue, looking in all the shop windows. They saw sweaters, cushions, brush and comb sets, bowls, and collars. But Tramp knew that none of these things was the perfect gift for Lady. He wanted to find her something special, something that she would enjoy and that no other dog would have. Tramp and the puppies kept looking into store windows and they peeked at the packages people carried. All they needed was one really good idea. When the sun started to sink that day, Tramp turned to the puppies and said, We'd better head home now. Maybe we'll find something tomorrow. As they crossed the road, Tramp noticed something sparkling in the snow. It was much brighter than a cir- it was much brighter than an icicle. He turned it over with his paw. Holy ham bones, he cried. It was a gold and emerald necklace. What a bunch of rocks, exclaimed Scamp. What a good stroke of luck, remarked Annette. Just the right size for mother, added Colette. Tramp smiled and then scooped up the necklace with his mouth. It seemed they had found the perfect gift. He knew it would look beautiful on Lady. Suddenly, Tramp dropped the necklace into the snow. It sparkled in the icy crystals. He frowned. What's the matter, Scamp asked. This isn't right, Tramp muttered. Then he looked at his children. Sorry, kids, but we have to return the necklace. It's not ours to take. But where would we go to return it, Clet asked. Yeah, it was just here in the snow, Annette said. How would we even find the owner? I say finders keepers, Scamp cried. Come on now, kids, Tramp said. We can take it to the police. They'll know who to return it to. With the puppies following, he bounded down the block to the station. Inside, officers hurried around taking phone calls and writing reports. Stay close, kids, Tramp whispered to the puppies. I don't want to lose you in the crowd. Tramp trotted up to the front desk, the puppies following behind. He dropped the necklace in front of the policeman in charge. What's this, the officer said as he looked at the dog and then back to the necklace on the desk. He picked up the necklace and looked at the sparkling jewels. Tramp panted and wagged his tail. The puppy stood eagerly beside him. Yip, yip. You found it, the officer said. Tramp nodded. Good dog, he exclaimed. The policeman took the necklace and began filling out his report while Tramp and the puppies watched. At that moment, a woman rushed into the station. Help, she cried. My necklace is gone. I'm offering a reward for its return. The policeman smiled at the woman. Then he held out the necklace. Is this yours, he asked. He pointed to Tramp. This dog found it on the street and brought it here. The woman gasped. Thank you, she cried. She scratched Tramp behind his ear. How can I repay you? Woof! Tramp looked at the necklace. A new collar, she said. That's it. She took Tramp and the puppies to the shop next door. Tramp walked up to the counter and picked up a gold collar with green stones that looked just like the woman's necklace. I'll take that one, the woman told the shopkeeper. On Christmas morning, Lady tore open the gift. You shouldn't have. Her eyes sparkled like the green stones. When Darling fastened the collar around Lady's neck, she pranced around the room as if she were a show dog. I love my new collar, Lady said. What a wonderful Christmas surprise, but I love my family even more. She nuzzled Tramp and each of the puppies. Merry Christmas, Mother, said the puppies, and it was a very Merry Christmas indeed. Indeed.